Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Teacher, andamos en otro lado. Ah. Sí, en otro enlace nos metimos en el último que mandaron. ¿Y eso? Y era otro profesor, eh, Zaira <ríe> y yo. Para, <ríe> para atrás, ahí. vamos, teacher. ¿Y eso no, por para el, adelante. En el, en no, el en el... Avanzado cinco. Ah, pues no estábamos avanzadas, no, es cierto. Cosa cinco. Intermedio por, cinco. Y, es cierto. ¿Y por qué, <ríe> por qué se confundieron? Es mi pregunta. Ese enlace no, nos no, mandaron no, ahora no, en la tarde. Exacto, y ya no nos, ya no nos metimos a, la, a los anteriores, sino que al último. Ah, ok. Teacher, diga la verdad, no que aquí o ya no. ¿Claro? Sin, sin ser ese teacher. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Yo, yo no envié el enlace. No reportó. No, yo no mandé ese enlace, alguien más lo envía. Se equivocaron. Sí, yo aquí he estado. Waiting. Y como ahora es viernes, por eso todo el mundo anda feliz. Dice, ay, al fin, vamos a descansar de tanta teoría. El problema ay, es... No, el problema es que eh, el midterm viene cargado de eso, de lo que hemos hablado. Y entonces Desde ahí para ahora es determinarlo. Y ahí van a decir, ah, hubiese prestado atención. Tanto ya me dormí oyendo todo eso. Pues no tire, tiche. Los puntuales ¿No? merecemos ayuda. Ah, los puntuales merecen un punto. Ay, no, ayuda. Merecemos ayuda. Merecemos ayuda. Ah, ok. Qué tremendo, tiche. Ok, perfecto. Totally, ¿Sí o no? Totally agree with you. No, pero la de hoy va a ser light. Ya las más fuertecitas generalmente son uh, los primeros dos, tres días. Son las que van más cargadas de, de contenido teórico. Pero right. cuando va a subir las notas, ya hoy. Eso tendría que ser en la mañana. Pero hoy, los, hoy los... mañana en la mañana. Yo cuando yes. entré y vi cómo está eso, me dio ganas de darme de baja. Ay, bueno. Ay, sí, qué terrible. ¿Qué the, the teacher dice when, when you get in? ¿Qué le dijo el teacher? Nomás lo vimos y, y ya supimos que nos habíamos equivocado. Y es que Zaira ya me había dicho a mí y yo le digo, no, pero si es el mismo enlace, ahí entremos. Y nos habíamos quedado que no era el mismo enlace. No, vamos por otro lado. No, yo dije, ¿nos cambiaron el teacher o me mandaron a mí a otro módulo? Que okay, dice Yesenia, no. salió en otro grupo. ¿Cómo es esto? Salió en otro grupo. Teacher, sí, yo, yo, o sea, como sí. que me mandaron otro link. Es salí el último en... que mandaron, Yesenia. Sí nos Ajá, pasó con Zaira y a mí. Ajá. Hasta me asusté. Okay. Sí, igual nos pasó. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. No me culpen a mí porque Yo no creo que varios van a andar perdidos. Ya les voy a escribir que no le dan caso al último enlace. Es que mandaron el del 17. Yo por eso siempre me, me conecto del enlace que está en la plataforma. Porque ya me ha pasado que han dado ahí en otros grupos que, que nada que ver conmigo. Ahorita les he puesto este link, no es de intermedio 3. Por favor, tomar nota. 
Pero I'm having problem with my internet service. I don't know what is happening here. Sí, veo pocos. Okay, we are going to wait for them. Vamos a esperar por ellos. Let me see. I got 13 now. I already sent a message telling them that uh, it's not right, the link. Let us see the last one that they send it. Por ahí les dejé el último, creo que es el correcto. 7BR. Sí, 7BR. Okay. ¿Será que los demás andan perdidos todavía? ¿O se quedaron? Yo ya creo les... que sí, teacher. Es que lo que pasa es que este dichoso enlace nos confundió a todos. ¿Será que les gustó quedarse allá? <risa> okay. No creo porque era más avanzado. <risa> es el 5, ¿cierto? Sí, el 5. Salí huyendo. <risa> Ahí está María Elena, también ya regresó. Se está riendo. Andamos perdidos todos en el espacio. No sé qué les pasaría, por qué se confundieron ellos. Y yo nunca me meto así, yo siempre busco el, el, que, el que yo me he mandado, al de la oficina o así. Y ahora decidí meterme al equivocado. Eso pasa. A menudo sucede. Como entre tanto grupo, ha dicho. Sí, son bastantes. Y uno se puede confundir. Suddenly we can make a mistake. Así es que... We need to apologize in name of the person that sent the wrong link. Okay, let us start now then.
Adriana del Carmen. It's not here. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Eh, Ana. I'm here to say. Hello. Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Present teacher. Ahí está Francis. Always, teacher, always. Oh, always, always, okay. It is a bad. It is, it is, abandono. Jose Jonathan. Jose Jonathan. No. Eh, Juan Carlos Rivas. No, no yet. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Ahí está Laura. Um, María Concepción. María Concepción. María Elena. María Elena. Mayra Veralice. Say hello, say present, say present, please. Zaira Eliana. Present teacher. Ahí está, mire, ve. Se da cuenta. Eh, let me see. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Misael. Wendy? Teacher, can you? Wendy? Present teacher. Somebody say something? Alguien dijo algo? Yo, teacher, present. Your name is? Maria. Maria Concepcion. Sí, teacher. Okay. En Bautista, teacher. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Alberto Bautista Carlos. Present teacher. Mari Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, los demás luego los vemos. Um, Okay, another thing that I would like to tell you is this. Uh, 
De suddenly, maybe you send me a message. Si me han estado enviando mensajes, a, en mi trabajo hemos tenido una falla y se me ha hecho muy difícil el poder eh, estar respondiendo todos los mensajes. Así es que les pido si alguien me envió alguno y no le he respondido, por favor, las disculpas del caso, ya que he recibido un montón de mensajes de diferentes eh, lugares y esa ha sido la razón, así es que me disculpo si a alguien no le respondí en su momento. Ok. Ok. Sí, porque a veces es, es muy difícil y cuando el buzón se llena eh, el mensaje se va, pero a veces es difícil poder verlo. Generalmente, eh, bueno, la mayoría que ya me conocen, eh, se dan cuenta que sí trato siempre de resolverles lo que puedo, ¿sí? Así es que, I apologize about that. And in fact, I've been having problems with the internet. Because one day I had to move to another place in order to, to attend you. And I'm, I'm still waiting for, for the technician of Claro in order to switch my service. Así es que si hay alguien que tenga eh, sus buenos conectes con la empresa Claro, I'm going to ask the favor. Le vamos a pedir sus buenos oficios para que nos ayude. Ah, le da risa, ¿cierto? Ok. Ok, here we go. Uh, before to continue, uh, I would like to hear um, some comment about the previous class. I don't know. I would like to know if you remember something that we talked about. It is just to start talking about what we are going to see today. Of course, I know that uh, the previous class, in the previous class, we have a lot of information, but at the moment that you are going to take the, the midterm exam, you are going to see that you are going to need all that information that I've been advising to read it. And I don't know if some of you already uh, took the, the, the midterm, si ya, si ya vieron el midterm, se dieron cuenta que sí, eh, tiene eh, bastante información relacionada con la teoría que les he enviado a, a leer algunos artículos, ¿cierto? But going back again with the, with the previous topic, I would like to hear from you, uh, what can you tell me about it? What do you remember that we talked yesterday? And based on that, we are going to start talking with a new topic. Just tell me. And I've been telling you all the time that I need that you interact with me and with your classmate. Uh, you are invited to participate. So I'll try to do it. Hello, are you there? Yes, I'm checking my microphone. Listening. Ah, por ahí están. Yes, teacher. Okay, ah, another thing that I would like to ask you is, uh, do you remember the day that I, I was trying to talk with you and was impossible and that you saw my 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 fissure, my uh, my picture in a different way? Se recuerdan qué día fue que que cuando entré eh, mi imagen se veía distorsionada y no se podía oír. Creo que fue antier. Sí. Uh, that is part of the problem that I've been having with uh with Claro service. 
Ese, esos han sido algunos de los inconvenientes que he tenido con el está claro, pero que ya estamos resolviendo. Ah, con feedback. My, microphone, microphone, María Elena. Microphone, please. Microphone, please. I'm listening. Feedback. Estamos oyendo un feedback. Okay, let us make a review in a fast way. Hagamos como un repaso así, in a fast way. And try to remember. Uh, what I consider that you are going to need at the order that you are going to take uh, the mid-term exam is gonna be the, the concept related with the four piece. That is uh, the main point there, I guess. If you already have some idea related with that, it's going to be easy for you. But you need to understand it. And also uh, the method and the strategies in order to change the price of the product based on that. I don't see some, some people, let me see what are they. See, let me see how many people do I have 17. Maybe some 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 classmates are six. But my recommendation is when something like that happened, uh, try to be like a listener, and that way you are going to have the opportunity to answer when I when I mention your name, at least try to say present and you are going to be up to it. Because suddenly something can happen that uh, you can stay in a in a hospital or something like that, you know. But uh, you need to keep in mind all the requirements that this uh, module has. Okay, you don't want to talk. Let me show you something here based on the, the material. Um, according to my lesson plan, we need to talk about how to use enough to modify objectives. And, uh, and that way you are going to do some exercises related with this. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercise below. In us, as an adverb means, to the necessary degree. Enough follow the objective, uh, it modify. It can be used both in positive or in negative sentence. This is our main point here, that we are going to see enough to modify an objective. But, um, well, what you, what you need to see here is that the word enough is going to be right after the objective because according to the instruction said that in us follow the objective, it modifies. And you have some example here, the look of your online course from pay is not professional enough. And also the package is user-friendly enough. You see, their product design is not competitive enough for a high end market. Our after sales service are good enough to improve the positioning of our product. This is our main point. Don't get confused because based on this is going to be maybe some exercises related with that in the platform. 
you need to have first the opportunity uh, and then you are going to have the work enough and the meaning. What is the meaning of this? Enough as an adverb means to the necessary degree. Do you understand this? In what? Comprendemos lo que está entre comillas? No, teacher. No? No. <laughs> ah, okay. In as an adverb means uh, la palabra en as como un adverbio significa to necessary degree. What is degree? De acuerdo, teacher. Ah? De acuerdo. Um, Agree, de acuerdo, y degree, desacuerdo. No. Disagree is different, but in this case we are talking about degree. Degree. Licenciatura. La licenciatura, teacher. Título. Yes, but, but in this case. Necesario. But in this case, what is the meaning? Miren, miren cuántos significados me han dado, pero no han pegado todavía. ¿Sí? The necessary degree. Enough as an adverb. And, and take a look at this. In the example, the look of your online curve front page is not professional enough. What is the meaning of this? It's not professional enough. Okay, degree, degree, degree. Meaning of degree. Miren, en una cosita Agregado. bien pequeña. Perdón. Agregado. No. No. Eh, como la medida necesaria, quizás. Ah, okay, close, close, hot, hot, hot. Ya vamos llegando, hot. Suficiente, como el... The necessary degree. Degree means uh, the level, the level or something, el grado necesario de algo. See? ¿Sí? And also, uh, the worst degree means uh, like title, different meanings. But in this uh, context, como el grado necesario de. For example, say the package is user friendly enough. Their product design is now competitive enough for a high end market. This is in negative. Is not competitive enough. Why? Because we can use enough in different ways, but this is only one. This is only one way that we can use it. Okay, uh, let me show you something here. And also, this is the name of the, the video conference, how to use enough to modify aptitude. It's number 10. And we have here the words enough in English, meaning and use. Enough is a word that signifies a suffi suffi sufficient quantity or a sufficient degree. 
it can be used either as an adjective or as a, as a pronoun or as an adverb. That means we got three different ways. And you, you need to be careful about. Enough can be used as an adjective and an adverb. As an adjective, enough goes before the noun, it modifies. And as an adverb, enough goes after the adjective or adverb, it modifies. You need to, you need, if you want, you can make a screenshot about this concept because suddenly you are going to find in a different way and you need to identify the function that the word enough is having in the sentence. It is clear for you this. Enough goes before the noun, it modifies as an object. Adjective, right? But as an adverb, it must go after the adjective. But in this case, re related with that word, okay, we got different uses of enough. If you have any question, just let me know. The essential rule enough can be either a quantifying app adjective placed before a noun or an adverb placed after the adjective it qualifies. In this case, it, this is the one that we are going to study, the second one. Or a pronoun standing on its own. But what, what we are going to pay attention or focus is going to be this one, the one that is in the middle. Okay, take a look at this. Enough as an, an adjective. Use as quantifier, adjective, enough is not really a problem word. However, it can only be used an, as an attribute adjective. One stand before the noun and qualifies. It cannot be used as a predicative adjective after the verb to be or similar verb. When enough stand alone, following the verb to be or other verb. It is being used as a pronoun. Okay, you need to take care about this too because in that way you are going to understand uh, how we are going to use the word enough. And as I told you, at the moment that you consider that you have a question, just let me know because it is necessary. In asking qualified count nouns in the plural or non count nouns, which are by definition in the singular, in us cannot normally be used to qualify a count noun in the singular. And we need we need to, to be careful about this. Okay, when we grade in of enough, the word enough, whether as objective or as a pronoun or as an adverb can be qualified by a certain adverb of degree, in the particular quite or hardly, and by certain other adverb. For example, have you got enough money for the train tickets? I think we have enough chair for everyone to sit on. With enough helpers, we'll be able to finish this by this evening. There was enough food to feed an army. Okay, be careful about this. And now the one that we need to pay attention about. We have quite enough work to keep up busy until midnight. That, that is why you can see it in, in green. Esos tres que ven de color verde son a los que el tema nuestro nos refiere. We have more than enough work to keep us busy all day. There's hardly enough room for everyone in this meeting. Okay, take a look of it and try to understand it.
Just read it. And then you can tell me. If it is clear, just let me know too. Okay, and also uh, maybe uh, later on you are going to see this word as a pronoun. When an alpha stand on its own, for example, when it is used uh, predicatively after the verb to be, it functions as a indefinite pronoun. It means nothing or in us people. For example, I think you said enough. I think you said quite enough. Enough if enough. Enough were against the project for it to be rejected. Do you want some more ice cream or have you had enough? But this is not our point now, but I'm, I'm just giving you this information because um, you are going to need it later on. Okay, take a look at this. In us as, as an adverb, this is where learners of English need to take care. I've been telling you this. Um, is, in us is an adverb of degree that can qualify objectives or other adverbs, normally in predicative position after to be. It cannot qualify verbs, and unlike almost all other adverbs that qualify adjective or adverb enough. Follow the word that it qualified, it never preceded. When enough is in the case is modified by hardly or by quite, this adverb of degree stands before the adjective or adverb. We have a quiet plus objective or adverb plus enough. Or could be hardly plus objective plus or adverb plus enough. This is a kind of a structure that we need to take care of it because suddenly we can get, get confused. If you consider that it's helpful, just make an a screenshot because we are going to need it later on now. So I tell you. Okay, and I got some example here, and I would like that you help me read in this because uh, in that way you are getting familiar with the information. Okay, who wants to read the poem? Hello, see? Hello? Hello? Who wants to read it? It can't kill it. Oh, teacher. Oh, that the part that you consider, for example, uh, you can read into uh, uh, my grandfather, and somebody else can continue reading. We can divide this uh, in three different parts. An example in YouTube. Qualifying, qualifying a predicate adjective. As results are used not good enough, is the wrong one enough for you, madam? Yes, it is sad one enough. No, it is heavily word enough. My jeans don't seem big enough anymore. They must help drunk my jeans don't the man was called and known to be my grandfather continue somebody else thank you um qualifying an attributive adjective and now is used with an attributed adjective in some common expression, and also in colloquial spoken English, but not commonly in other situations. That was a good enough 
answer. This is a common expression. Okay. That was a quite good enough answer in unusual but acceptable. You'll get there on time if you take a fast enough train or local. There was a serious enough incident for the police to be called possible but improbable. Alternatives. The incident was serious enough for the police to be called or there was a sufficiently serious incident for the police to be called. Okay, thank you. What about the last part, qualifying an advert? Luckily enough, we were able to get a ticket for the show. Okay, if you work quickly enough, you'll be able to make two of them by lunch time. And the topic that uh, concerned with us uh, is this, the last part, quantifying an adverb. Funnily enough, I heard the same story. The children were all walking happily enough until it started to rain. Okay, take a look at these uh, four examples and try to uh, get the information and how we are going to use it. Any questions so far from here? No. Okay. Um we need to take care about the last part about this one because it is related with the with the, the main topic that we have in the material. But let me move forward. Okay, take a look at this. The essential rule is to remember not to confuse the use of enough as an objective preceding a noun with enough as an adverb, we follow an objective or another adverb. Okay, that means that the, the essential rule is to remember, not to confuse the use. Try to keep it in mind. But today you are, you are not going to worry because uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to show you the material because in our case, in our case, what we are going to study is just how to use enough to modify adjectives. And when, uh, when enough is modifying an adjective, that means that you are going to find it uh, where, where is the position that where we are going to find it? You just explain it there, just read it and tell me.
because I already explained some different uses of the word is enough. But in this case, what we need to focus our attention is uh, how we are going to use it to modify an object use. Okay, what I'm asking you is this, in us, follow the objective, it modify. Where, where is the word enough? The position, where, what is the position? Before or after? Before. Before? After adjective. Ah, be careful. Be careful. In this case, read it again. In us, follow the objective, it modify. It can be used both in positive or in negative sentences. And we have an example. The look of your online course from pay is not professional enough. Let me let me do something here. Okay, the very nice if here. It is before or it is after. What what is the word pro professional? What is the word professional? What is the function in the sentence? It's an adjective. Ah, okay. It's an adjective, right? Okay. That means that the word enough, we are going to put it after the objective. Apply in this case. If we, if we need to modify an objective, we need to put it here. Okay. Yes. No. 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 My goodness. Sir, I need vitamin. 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 Vitamin to understand it. Vitamin. <laughs> Brown, no. <I> don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to repeat this. What I did at the beginning was that I show you that the word enough, we can use it in different ways. Lo que hice al inicio fue que les mostré que la palabra en as la podemos usar en diferentes formas. ¿Sí? Pero en este caso, lo que les pedí es que le prestáramos atención a algunos ejercicios que estaban con las palabras en verde, porque el tema nuestro es precisamente cómo usar en as para modificar adjetivos. ¿Yes? Hello, sí. Yeah. Okay, in this case, when we are going to use it to modify an adjective, uh, the word enough as an adverb is going to mean to the necessary degree. That is going to be the, the meaning, right? And enough follow the adjective, it modified. Y el va a ir después del adjetivo que modifica. And also it can be used both in positive or in negative sentences. We can use either in positive or in negative. I don't know if it is clear. Tell me. Okay, now that we uh, 
I'll talk about this. I'm going to go back again to the presentation and you are going to identify when we are using enough in order to modify objectives. Is that clear? Hello. Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let me stop it. And let me go back again to the presentation. And I'm going to show you again this because I need, I want that you got this information. So you get this information because, uh, let me get bigger this. My goodness, I need to go back. Okay, different uses. Uh, I remember that I told you that uh, the, this word got uh, had different uses as a quantifying objective play before a noun, an adverb play after the objective it qualifies, and a pronoun standing on its own. I'm going to tell you this in Spanish because uh, it is. It is part of one of one exercise that you got uh, to have in in the platform, and I need that you answer it in the right way. La palabra enough tiene diferentes usos. El, el que estamos estudiando nosotros hoy, ¿cuál es? Which one? De esos tres que está ahí, ¿cuál es el que estamos estudiando nosotros? In the middle. Ah, the or one that is another plus after the adjective it qualified. Ah, the one that is in the middle, right? Okay. Let me see uh, the example. Okay, in the example, could you tell me or could you read the example that are related with uh, the use that we are studying now? Hello? Could you read only the example that are related with the topic that we got in the material? Examples. How you got enough money for the train tickets? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mario, what, what I need, we, we have seven different examples here, right? What I need is that somebody of you read only the ones that are related the use that we are studying today. We have quiet and known where to keep us busy until midnight. Ah, okay. Tell me how you did in order to identify that is related with the topic that we need to study, the use that we need to study. ¿Cómo hizo with, para identificarlos? With the adjective is after? After. The green, the one in greens are objectives. No, it's, it's before. Ah, it's before. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Could you read the second one? Hello. The next one? The, the second. We have more the, the next one. The next one. We have more than a new word to keep us busy all day. All day. Okay, okay. And the last one said there's hardly enough room for everyone in this meeting. Okay, try to remember this example. Try to remember this example. And I'm going to show you right here the book. Okay, now see the example that we got in the yes. material. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have a question. Only two examples, Abiyam. In the previous that I show you? In the previous slides that I show you? Hello. Hello. En la diapositiva que mostramos previamente. Sí. Ok. Only, es que yo leí uno, pero usted no dijo si era o no era. Entonces, por eso le, le pregunto si okay. solo. Okay. Hay... No, no, not only one. What I need is that you identify the way. Where is the object and where is the word enough? Lo que yo necesito, por eso lo llevé de regreso a los ejemplos, es que me identifiquen cuáles son los que están siendo usadas la palabra enough para modificar el adjetivo. ¿Cuándo vamos a saber qué está haciendo eh, la palabra enough modificando el adjetivo? Enough follow the objective, it modify. ¿Sí? Está siguiendo al adjetivo que modifica. In this case, we, we have it here. Competitive enough. ¿A quién está modificando la palabra enough? Competitive. Ah, entonces, mm. ok. Teacher, and, um, we need identify the first adjective. And if in no, uh, follow. This archetype is, is, is this type, is this tip. Este, este tipo. Si lo sigue, identificamos primero al, al adjetivo. Yes. Y, si, y si lo está siguiendo en no, es este que estamos estudiando. Así es. Sí, sí. Más o menos. Por eso tenemos que prestarle más atención a esta parte que está modificando al adjetivo. Yo les mostré los demás porque de repente van a verlos en algo otro tema y van a decir, ve, pero él no menciona nada. Pero hoy específicamente nos corresponde a nosotros ver el uso de enough modificando adjetivos. Y cuando eso es así, primero está el adjetivo y después está la palabra enough. ¿Ok? Let me check out the, the attendance first. And uh, I invite you to start creating your own example because we are going to need it. Okay, Adriana del Carmen. Adriana. Present. 
present. Ahí está Adriana, mire. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Teacher two. Ana Lilian. Present. Eh, Ana Mariela. Ana Mariela. Escobar. Eh, Claudia. Francis. José, José Jonathan. Ok, José Jonathan. Present, Mr. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Ahí está Mayra Veralice, mire. Aira Eliana. Saira Eliana. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Ok, and Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok, thank you, sir. Ok, let's go in back again to the book. Let's go back to the book. In this conversation that you are seeing there, you can identify some um, objective modifying uh, with the word enough. For example, uh, Antonio said the competition just released a clone of our headphone. They are attractive enough to make us lose position in the market. Okay, take a look at that. <clears throat> and Rene also mentioned something using it. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. Colorful enough. And in the last uh, intervention, say Rene said, it's fast enough to help us counter our competitive release of their product. Okay, now you see it, how we can use it, right? Hello. Related with the with the with the topic with the product and uh, that we've been talking about. Okay, now I don't know if you have any questions apart from here. Let me know if you have it. Oops, what's going on here? And do you remember that I asked you to fill out the, uh, this gap? Do you remember that? You already have it? 
Yes. No. I remember that I asked you to 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 resolve. Do you remember or not? No. Hello. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Let me move forward, please. Okay, right now uh, we are going to work in exercise number five. You are going to describe the mobile brand below using an objective plus the word enough. You are going to have, uh, let me see how many do we have. I'm going to give you like seven minutes to do it. How you are going to describe each brand? Well, you need to think in an objective and also the word enough. Is that clear? Yes. Hello. Hello. If you don't have the material in uh, printed, you can make a screenshot. But I need that you uh, describe it using uh, an objective and at the same time the word enough. You are going to talk about LG, Sony, Xperia, iPhone, and Samsung. Ok, ¿se comprende lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, thank you. Let us do it now, please. Every one of you is going to do it uh, based on your own experience related with these brands. Ms. Ahel is there. Let me check up in the attendance. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Let me let me check 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 your name in the attendance because when I call you, uh, you didn't answer. And right you now, just... and right now you are there. Okay, I got it. Okay, uh, we are working in exercise number five on page number 20. Misael. Okay. And there you are going to describe the mobile brands below using an adjective plus the word enough. You are going to have like seven minutes to do this activity. And then you are going to share your ideas with the classmate, right? Okay. Based on your own experience. Okay.
Did you finish? Did you finish? Not yet? No, yet. Okay. Okay, 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 don't worry. Are we ready? Yes. Not yet.
Okay, I guess it is time now. Um, I would like to hear from you what you got. Remember that uh, we are talking only just about four different mobile brands, LG. Okay, let, let us see what you have for LG. Who wants to say it? Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Remember that you need to have the objective and then you are going to work, use the word enough at the moment that you are going to describe. Um, the TVs are modern and known to compete in the market. Ah, okay, nice. But talking about LG, okay. Okay, somebody else? Let us see somebody else. Me, teacher. Okay. The LG sound equipment is affordable enough to, to buy it by myself. Only maybe we are going to switch. Lo que, lo, lo único que quizá vamos a cambiar, because you say equipments in plural, right? Oh, okay. It's in singular, right? No, 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 no. If you say equipment, and uh -huh. you are going to say R. Oh. Do you got? Are affordable enough. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody else, somebody else? Goodness. I don't know what is happening here, but suddenly my screen closed. I don't know why. Let me see that. I'm having uh Okay, somebody else. Somebody else? Talking about LG? The oh. camera, the camera of these phones is not good enough. Uh, okay, but how you can organize uh, better explaining and, and mentioning LG, uh, LG telephone or LG cameras on cell phone, you can say in that way. Um, the LG um, cameras. Uh, is isn't or they aren't good enough. Okay. And remember that also we can use in a in negative way. We can use it in negative way. You got uh you have some example there in, in the book. And you can create in negative too, not only as in positive. Okay, thank you. Somebody else. Alguien más? Okay, if you don't want to talk about LG, we can continue with the next brand, Sony Xperia. What can you tell me about Sony Xperia? Could be positive or negative by using the structure that we are starting, please. 
Teacher, example, the, the Samsung cell phone is good and no for me. Ah, oh, okay. You are now talking about Samsung. Ah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Try to use one in negative in order to show me that you can use it too. I try to do it. I'm here. Waiting. Hello, who's next? Who's next? I gave you enough time in order that you create your own sentences, right? Let us talk about some experience. You can make something positive or negative and then iPhone. But I need that you use uh, the structure that we have here. Teacher. Hello. Uh, example, example. Uh, Sony Xperia Mobile have a no I now a innovative factory. Mm, be careful. Be careful. Could you repeat again and identify? I, I, I ask you to identify the object here that is uh, being modified. Sony is uh, okay. Innovative now factory. Innovative enough. Ah, okay. You know, I innovate enough. O sea, tiene ¿qué? suficientes características innova, innova, innovadoras. Okay, <laughs> okay. I got, no I got, got it. I got no sé el orden, teacher. <laughs> no, but you need to. You need to know because okay. the platform you are going to find out some exercises related with that. Eh, example, para iPhone teacher, yo. Eh, is a uh, otra que puse iPhone mobile are expensive enough for their design. Ah, okay. Pero no sé si está bien el orden. <laughs> okay, much better. Somebody else? Uh, me teacher. Okay, sir. Oh, uh, Sony Experience. <laughs> okay, it tell me. Takes, uh, a uh, Sony Xperia mobile battery is not durable enough. Then I don't know if the verb uh, dur durable means the the time about battery. Okay, remember that uh, what you need to know is that you are going to use an adjective that is going to be modified by the word enough according to the structure that we have. We need to have an object related with the branch. And then you are going to have the word enough. And that way you are modifying, right? If you have it in that way, it's right. Because at the, at the beginning of the class, I explained I explain you um, some different uses of, the, of this word that we can get confused. But I guess that uh, you didn't arrive at that time, I guess. Okay. Um, I don't know if it is possible that you can write a sentence in the in the chat in order to see it. If you can do it, let me see if I. But maybe if I share the whiteboard, uh, you are not going to be able to write down something. Maybe only me.
But you can write them down there. Okay, somebody else wants to share your your descriptions. Alguien más. Somebody else. Teacher, Hello. Say, say the is this this ah, I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Miss Aeli, uh, you are right. You are right because I, I I didn't hear you very well. Okay, I'm sorry, Mario. I'm just checking the the sentence that uh, Miss Aeli have. Okay, it, it is good. Okay, uh, Mario, go ahead, Mario. I'm sorry. I was uh, I was shared the 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 the, the dog. Okay. There was a dog. Uh, it's still there, it's a disable. Really? No, the house. No, we can share the, the screen. Let, let me see. Okay, now you can do it. Instruction choose the right option. Have you bow? And no apples? Ah, you are talking about this one? Yeah. Ah, okay, we, we are going to do it later on because um, right here, what you are going to use is choose the right options, uh, A or B. But not now, my my friend. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's gonna be at the end in order that you can show me that you understood the topic. Okay. 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 Okay, so Maria. Are you? Under the uh, second teacher, the water is hot and no. Okay, what, what I want is the, uh, the description talking about, let me share you because um, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, before, what we need to do is uh, talk about this. Let me show you here. Okay, we are still working next on number five, describing the mobile program below using an objective plus an app. We already talked about some experience. Uh, okay, now what I needed that you tell me your example related with iPhone and Samsung. Okay. Who wants to who wants to talk about iPhone? And then about Samsung. Because the description is clear. Describe the mobile brands below using an objective plus the word enough. No. iPhone is 
to explain and now? Mm. But uh, in this case, maybe you are not going to use the word to. iPhone is expensive enough and you can continue creating your sentence. iPhone is, is expensive enough for many, many people. Yeah, could be, could be in that way. Okay, uh, according to the time, let me stop it here and I'm going to create some breakout room. Let me see how many, I got 18, uh, let me see. It's gonna be nine. Okay, you are going, what you're going to do now is that I, I send you some, uh, uh, an exercise in the WhatsApp groups. Les envié por ahí un documento en el grupo de WhatsApp relacionado con los ejercicios. I'm going to assign you somebody uh, else and you are going to solve it. And then we are going to discuss the answers. Trabajan con su compañero eh, esas 10 preguntas, eligen la opción correcta, A o B, and then we are going to talk about it, okay? Yes, okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. Let, let me see, I guess um, if you are two, I guess five minutes it is enough, but let me see. I'm going to give you a five, and then if you uh, if you don't finish, I'm going to give you more time, I guess. Okay, here we go. Maria Elena, what, what's up, Maria Elena, what happened? Jonathan, Ana Mariela, Mario. We need to work with somebody else in the breakout room. Francis, Maria Elena, maybe you had two different, uh, Maria Elena, Maria Elena, can you hear me? Francis is not there. Because I, I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, this exercise, it is related with the explanation that, that I gave. And maybe uh, you, you need to be careful because you are not going just to use the, the word enough at the end of the adjective. All depend on, on different situations. Try to do it, try to resolve it now. And uh, if you need more information, I'm going to share uh, the presentation in order that you have the info because we can use the word enough in different ways. But in this case, uh, our main point here is that we studied uh, uses enough in order to modify an object. In that case, we are going to put it at the end, but in some cases, we can use it uh, like a pronoun and also um, in a different way. Yes, I was reading some of the exercise and I noticed that sometimes it knows goes 
precede by the by the adjective and sometimes follows the nouns. Ah, okay, okay. That is that that is that is the main topic. But but in in the case of the book, uh, we need to focus our attention just in the way that it not modify an adjective. Uh -huh. But I but I I show uh, you different way how we can use it because later on you are going to know it. And enough is an adverb, right? Yeah, we can use it like an adverb, but also we can use it in a different way. Let, let, let me show you if I got here the presentation. And that is what I was telling to your classmate, but enough money. Uh -huh. let, let me see here. I don't know if you can see my, my screen. Yes, I can see it. Okay, the essential rule, the different uses of an app, I said, uh, we can use this either a quantify an objective placed before a noun, and our main point is the second one, or an adverb placed after the objective, it qualifies. But also we can use it as a pronoun, a standing in, on its own. For example, when someone say it's not enough. It's not enough for me to do this, this okay? In that case, be the third option, okay? Yeah, and also I, I showed in uh, some example. I don't know if you can see it here. Yes, I can see it. I will take an answer. Yeah, okay. Have you got enough? Yeah, we haven't. This meeting is being recorded. When I got my, I'm sorry, Miss Ayel, that the, the breakout room time finished. And for that reason, happened that se nos terminó el tiempo del breakout room y por eso se cerró ahí. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know if you if you finish. I don't know if you finish the exercise. No sé si terminaron el ejercicio. ¿Sí? No, no. Huh? Teacher. Hello? Teacher. A little bit more time, okay. Let me see. Three minutes, three minutes, no more than three minutes. Wendy, 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 what happened with you, Wendy? Sorry, teacher. Wendy, Wendy, you are not assigned to any group. No. no I'm, go I'm going to send you to, to work with Carlos. With Carlos? Con Carlos. Autista? No. Look. Ah, con uh, Carlos, eh, let me see, Escobar. Escobar, yeah. Ah, I'm going to say it with Carlos Escobar then. Thank you. You got in the invitation. You got the invitation. I was showing you the, the, the example. I was showing you the example when the break breakout time uh, end, but you got it there. You can make a screenshot if you want. Only the, the green one, the green one, this one are related with the 
with uh, our main topic for today. The next one they are using in a different way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, here we say we have quite enough. This where is modifying this one, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, for example, have you got enough money for the train ticket? It doesn't apply for us. Mm -hmm. In the number one, it's used like a, like a quantifier, right? Enough money. Yes. Or, uh -huh, yeah, it can be in that one. No. And also we got grading of enough. They were enough whether as objective or as a pronoun or as an adverb can be qualified by a certain adverb of degree. In particular, quite or hardly, and by certain other adverb. But I guess I got another example here. Let me see if I can move it a little bit. Oops, the time is over again. The time is over again, I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, okay. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, what we are going to do is this. I got uh, 10 different sentences or question or statements, right? I need 10 different people participating in this activity. What you are going to do is that you are going to read the question or the sentence, including the word that you consider that is the right one, okay? Okay. Okay, what about number one? Who wants to read number one? Hello. How, how you bought and no apples? Could you read it again, Mario? How you bought and no, and no apples? Ah, uh, have you bought enough apples? Have you bought enough apple? Ah, uh, okay. That is right. What you can do is that you can check it. Uh, all of you, you can check it. If I say no, that means that is not right, okay? But in this case, it's quantified. Okay, second one. The second one, the water is hot enough. Ah, uh, the water is hot enough. In this case, it is used like a... In this case, we are using the word enough to modify an object, right? Okay, thank you. Number three, number three. Number three. She is old enough to understand things. Things? She is old enough to understand things better. <laughs> ah, ah, okay. If you have it that way, it is right. Okay, number four. Number four, please. Number four. Somebody else, somebody else. Uh, we haven't, haven't not got voluntary notes. We haven't got 
Voluntary no, teacher. We haven't got. Uh -uh. We Before. need. We need to switch something. Okay, Claudia. Claudia, could you read the the whole sentence, please? We haven't got enough balance. Okay, bingo. Is in that way. Number five. Somebody else. Necesito que sean diferentes las personas que me van participando, por favor. She hasn't got enough experience. She hasn't got enough experience. Okay, that's right. Bingo. Number six. I haven't got enough money. Okay, bingo too. Vayan chequeando porque necesito que me digan la nota que sacaron. Okay, next one. Somebody else. He is rich enough to buy a luxury car. Bingo too. Okay, number eight. Number eight. Somebody else. Clever enough. Read the whole sentence, please. Uh, he is clever enough to solve this puzzle. Okay, bingo. Thank you. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. The mangoes are enough ripe to be eaten. Mm. Be careful, be careful. Could you read again? The mangoes are ripe enough to be eaten. Ah, okay, now it's better. <laughs> ah, the mangoes are ripe enough to be eaten, to be eaten. Okay, in the last one. <clears throat> the last one, please, number 10. He hasn't got enough clothes. Enough clothes. 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 Okay. okay, now you know uh, if you got 10, if you got A, if you got 5. Okay, don't tell me. Just keep it for yourself, okay? And I invite you to, to also to work uh, in your free time in the next activity that we have in the page number 20 because you are going to use it in your midterm. Only I'm going just to show you, but because of the time, you know. Okay. Um, you need to work on exercise number six. You are going to talk about this Vocabulary expression, what is production design after self-service brand feature production position because you are going to need it in your in your midterm exam. And also you can take a look at the next space that is uh, you are going to label the examples element phone in a product strategy using a question from the box. Try to, to, to look for and then we are going to check it. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. We are at the right time now.
any question? No. Yeah. Hello. Oye, te dejaré hecho el midterm, ¿verdad? Mm, let me see. Let me see the, 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 the date. Let me see where we have it. According to the, the, do you remember the, in the previous module, if you did in the, in which week you did, do you remember? Se recuerdan en el módulo anterior en que semana hicieron el midterm? No recuerdo que en el dos, pero mis compañeros dicen que como por una semana. Más en, la, en la tercera semana lo hicimos. Ah, okay. And now in this module, this is this is week's number. Y nosotros ahorita llevamos qué semana? The second teacher. Segunda. Ah, it is the second one, right? Okay, then okay, be careful, take care. Um, okay, take, 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 take it easy, relax, but, I, <laughs> but, but what I want is that you get a good way. Yo lo que yo quiero que todos salgan con cienes, no dieces, cienes. Teacher, pero la, la que le mencionaba todavía sigue igual. Which one? Teacher, la 1.5. Ah, la uno cinco. I, I, I already sent it and, and I didn't get any answer. Uh, ya envié la observación y hasta ahora no me han dado una respuesta. Eh, voy a reenviarlo para, para que puedan ellos revisar eso porque uh, es necesario que ellos lo revisen. Hello, somebody else. Sí. Yo, teacher, es que a veces las respuestas salen malas porque eh, por un espacio, por un punto, por una mayúscula. Entonces, it. no sé. Ajá, tiene que ver eso. Yes. Bueno, ahí le va. Buena, Yesenia. Por, por ahí ¿Cómo? le voy a... ¿Usted le salió buena ya esa? Este, es que no, no he hecho eso, pero la, la vez anterior así me, me salía en unas preguntas, porque no, o sea, estaba bien, pero necesitaba, ah, el signo de interrogación también. Sí, cabal. Ah, ok, I'm totally agree with you. Pero si encuentran algún otro error eh, de ese tipo, por favor, me lo hacen saber para revisar qué es lo que sucede, porque algunas veces uh, por una letra que tengamos eh, mal escrita también nos puede dar problemas. A veces puede, pueden ser letras eh, algo parecidas, ¿no? Y eso sí nos puede generar algún conflicto. Entonces... Eh, a punto de que a veces nos queremos dar por vencidos y decimos, no, 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 ya no, ya no sigo. Pero la verdad sí. es que hay, hay que Esta buscar. Vez, así me pasó y yo este, tengo una gente que está en Estados Unidos. Y yo le pregunté, mira, y esto es así. Y me decían, sí, así es. Y me dice, todavía le preguntaron a una gringa, sí, así es. Entonces empecé yo a cambiarle letras y a ponerle puntos, signos y ya me, me resultó. Sí. Para que vea, pues, que así sucede. Bueno, I don't know if you have another question. Let me check out the attendance now. Déjenme revisar entonces la asistencia. Uh, let me see, Adriana de Carmen. Present. Adriana is there, okay. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Present teacher. Okay, Iris Ivette is not there. Uh, Jose Jonathan. Present. 
Juan Carlos Rivas. Not today. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Eh, María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. María Elena. Present teacher. Uh -huh. María Elena. Es un teacher en Ah, ok, ok. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Eliana. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Eh, Jenny. Te falté yo. Present teacher. Present. Wendy. Present teacher. Wendy is missing because Wendy is far away. I um, lost in, in no, other group. <laughs> Yana so far away. Okay. Uh, Bautista. And Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Teacher, yo. Who's yo? Yesenia. Yesenia Lisette Asensio. Ok. Eh, hey, teacher, los que andamos perdidos en el otro grupo. But it's, it's not my fault. No fue mi culpa. Porque yo no fui el que envié el link. Ok, let me see who's number 10 according to the list. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel is not here. Juan Carlos Rivas is here or not? Juan Carlos, are you there? No? Juan Carlos. Ok, a él le, le correspondía el uno a uno el día de hoy, pero no está tan bien. Ok, thank you very much. I hope to see you uh, the next week. Have a wonderful and happy weekend. And I hope that all of you enjoy with your family, with your friends. And well, it's up to you, whatever. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. You too. See you. See you. See you. See you. See you. Good night. See you. Maria Elena. Bye bye, Maria Elena. Bye, teacher. Sorry. See you. See, See you. you. Oh, do you have any questions, Maria Elena? Larry, después voy a escuchar la clase, teacher. Es que yo estaba aquí con una discusión con mi hijo. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ok. Ahí. No problem. Después le pregunto. Oh, ok. Lo siento. Excellent. Don't worry. Gracias, teacher. Ok, bye.